What is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. My name is Katie, I live in Orlando and I make all shop with me videos at like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Walmart, sometimes Hobby Lobby, Target all the time. So if you love home decor, if you need home decor inspiration, or if you just like to shop around the stores without actually going and still seeing what is new and what you could potentially find when you do go shopping, this is the place for you. So definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Today's video is another home goods shop with me. I hear you, I've read the comments, I hear your cries, and I know that you guys want to see different stuff in the stores. You wanna see the rugs, you want to see the accent pillows, the throw blankets, more of the decor, and less summer decor, and less of the seasonal stuff. And I hear you, that is what I'm going to be giving you today. I'm gonna to shop around different parts of the store that I don't normally shop around. I'm gonna show you all the accent stuff I just talked about, as well as office decor, potentially bathroom stuff. I promise this video I will show you different stuff than I normally do. I am so sorry, I'm definitely human and fall into my routines of shopping around particular parts of the store. And I'm sorry for thinking that you guys wanted to see one thing, showing you too much of it and not paying attention to your feedback. But I promise today I'm gonna show you everything you guys want to see. I will say fall decor will probably be starting to pop up in the store sooner rather than later. So there will be seasonal decor, but new seasonal decor for me to show you guys really, really soon. But I'm super excited to get in there and show you guys all this new stuff that I don't normally shop. So let's head into the store and see what we can find this week at Home Goods. We're gonna start off by talking about throw pillows and throw blankets these items can be really seasonal as well I always say that throw blankets are like the easiest way to like change up your living room throw pillows throw blankets and make it super seasonal and these items can be used for years especially if you buy pillows that have pillow covers on them that you can take off and wash I feel like they just keep for much much longer but let's start off talking about what they have right now in store for like throw pillows throw blankets and check out everything that is cute and new to me which will be a lot because I don't shop these aisles very often. They have a lot of really pretty throw blankets that are kind of jumping out at me. I love this white quilted throw. This would look pretty at the end of literally any bed. White and neutrals go with pretty much everything, but I really like this one and it has a pretty ruffle on the side and this one is only $20. These are my favorite types of throws, these like super soft plush ones. My favorite place to get them is the threshold ones at Target for Black Friday specifically. They do great sales on them, so I always try to buy a few that'll last me the whole year and then I stock up again at Black Friday which is exactly what I plan on doing this year but if you can't wait until then and you're looking for a throw recommendation the ones that are like these like sheen soft type materials those are my favorite and I love like king size ones I like huge blankets but you can also find them here for a really good price this one's only $16.99 they also have options for like more eclectic taste or maybe if you're shopping for like a kids bedroom makeover they have this one that says like crazy cat lady and has little like plants all over it with little cats that's super cute they also have ones that are like covered in dogs they have this one where the dogs are basically like at brunch that is so so funny just want to show you that they do have really fun options like that as well they do a really good job of like breaking things up by color a lot as well so you'll see even more over there that's a lot of like grays and blues so they do a pretty decent job at breaking it up by like color season material things like that this one's kind of jumping out at me as you guys know I love this muslin fabric I actually wear this fabric a lot it's like one of my favorite fabrics for the summer especially in Florida be perfect for a blanket as well because it would give you that coverage and keep you warm but it's not hot if that makes sense so it's just a really great fabric for like a bed or even like a couch if you just want some coverage like for me I just like to have my legs covered but I don't want to be hot this is the perfect material for that this one is super pretty this would be so nice for a little girl's room it has the yellow pink and blue this is so so cute also has like tassels at the bottom and little like puff balls on it I love this one this one is a little bit more expensive I feel like this one is a nice 
fabric and it has a really cool pattern with fun colors this one is $30 I really like this one right next to it as well it's a similar texture very very trendy with the tie-dye tie-dye is very in trend and it does have the tassels again at the bottom but these are just fun like this is one of those store blankets that like you can bring it out every summer or like for Valentine's Day or whatever type of theming you like to do but this is another really fun one really good fabric as well would hold up and keep for a long time and it's just super trendy Ooh, this one's so pretty big charleston vibes right here blue and white is like a very charleston thing this like floral print very ginger jar that big thing this is really really pretty i have a few friends in mind who i know would love this because they do this sort of theming in their house so this one's really pretty this one is only 16.99 they have a lot of these kinds these remind me of like a scarf almost they're a lot warmer than some of the other blankets i was just showing you but they have these in a lot of neutral colors including right here this one's like big scarf energy bse big scarf energy because of like the pattern and the material super super warm so if you live in a really cold place these material of blankets are perfect these are 80 percent cotton 15 percent polyester five percent other other <laughs> i don't know it's just very like scarf like i feel like if you felt it you would know exactly what i mean okay here's an example of a blanket that i would say is honestly basically just decorative it's not really soft but the pattern is really really pretty this would be really nice if you have like a neutral room and all white bedding like we have all white bedding and then we kind of accent it with a throw so this is a really really good example just not the comfiest like it's not like a blanket you want to cuddle up with but a really good example of a blanket that you could just use to decorate and this one is $20. Something I feel like you don't see every day are black throw blankets. So this is kind of fun. Really good price too, only $14.99 and it's that really, really soft material that I love. Another one that I feel like is just good for decorating just because I feel like it all comes down to the material. Personally, these aren't the types of materials I wanna cuddle up to, but they really have a lot of like fun decorative blankets as well as more comfy options. Wanted to run over here and show you what a ginger jar was like that whole Charleston vibe in case you didn't know. I didn't know what these were called until like a few months ago when my friends from Charleston were like, those are called ginger jars. So now I know. But in case you didn't know, that blanket that I loved that I said it looked like a ginger jar Charleston vibes, these are ginger jars and they're very popular right now at Home Goods. Throw pillows are categorized by color, which I feel like makes it really, really helpful to shop throw pillows here at Home Goods. I do love that you can find lots of pillows that come in sets because it really helps to offset the cost because these pillows are gonna be anywhere from like 16 to $35 and then you can find some that are more expensive. But I feel like if you can find ones you like that come in a set, that's a great way to save money. This is such a cute pillow. I feel like that'd be a really, really cute outdoor pillow or a pillow for like a little girl's room because it's just very colorful. It has a good message. Not really one that you'd wanna sleep on, but a really cute decorative pillow. They always have so many good lumbar pillows. Lumbar pillows are these long ones right here, and I feel like I always find so many lumbar pillows that I love. Plus, lumbar pillows always seem to have a zipper that's really visible, so it's really easy to take it off and wash the cover. They always have so many good lumbar pillows. This is my personal favorite aisle of throw pillows, and it's like all the ivory ones. I really like the look of this one. It kind of looks like sweatery. I feel like throw pillows need to be a good mix of soft, but also decorative. Like you don't want them to be completely uncomfortable, but you also want them to like look nice. So it's kind of like a really tough balance. And then plus for me, I have that rule of having ones that only have the zipper come off. So for me, this one would be a no-go. <gasps> I've been looking for this pillow. It has a pineapple on it and it's like really discreet, but it does, oh, it has a zipper. This is kind of checking all the boxes. I think I need it. Also, like if one more person tells me that pineapple is the symbol for swingers, guys, we know we are not swingers. If you are new here and you didn't know, Brian and I are obsessed with pineapples because the first thing he ever asked me what we met on a dating app was if pineapple belongs on pizza and then pineapples just kind of became our thing. We would see pineapples everywhere. Charleston's the first place we ever went on vacation together and there's pineapples everywhere. Because if you didn't know, before it was the symbol for swingers, it's always been the international symbol for hospitality. I went to school for hospitality. I have my bachelor's in hospitality. I worked at Disney for several years. I'm obsessed with hospitality and the whole hospitality industry. Like I'm really passionate about it. 
So yes, we know it is a symbol for that, but it is also a symbol for hospitality and for our relationship. But thank you all for letting us know. Don't worry, we definitely know, um, but we choose to ignore it. Ooh, I have these. We have these on our bed. These are so cute. They're the perfect mix of cute, but also comfortable because this like little cheetah pattern is really neutral, but really, really soft. You get both of them for $30, so they end up being 15 a piece. They have like a really pretty ruffle. We have these, we love them, highly recommend. I just came over to the blue aisle of pillows and I found those same pillows in blue. These are really, really pretty. I wish I had the guts to decorate with color because they always have so many pretty pillows and it seems like in the colored pillow aisles they have a lot more of the sets best way to save money at home goods I feel like if you're looking for throw pillows but they have a lot of the sets they also over here have these really pretty like tie-dye pillows those are really cool these are very like bohemian remind me of like anthropology but these are really cool they don't have these in like a very neutral pillow if you want really 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 bright pillows they also have that. Here is the more like bright and colorful pillow aisle. These are pretty. I'm obsessed with this color of pink, like this like hot bubblegum pink. So I love that mixed with like the neutral. They also have like blush colored pillows, some like tribal type patterns, zigzags, polka dots, these kinds that are like almost like watercolor. And then on this side is all like the yellows. If you guys didn't know, my favorite color is yellow. And here they have those pillows again in yellow. Those are so pretty, I love them. I just love all the mustard pillows. They have a lot of really pretty ones. This one's really nice as well. Tons of awesome options here. Wanted to show you before we move on that if you're looking for like Euro Shams, bigger size pillows, these always come in a two pack. And then you can find like other shaped pillows as well. And you're gonna find this stuff over in the bedding section. The reason I push the set so much too besides for like the price and the money saving aspect is that I know firsthand how hard it can be to try to find like a set of pillows at a home goods and sometimes you have to go to like multiple home goods to try to find like a matching pillow and trust me I know how hard that can be but it's definitely possible like to find it at another home goods because they do get a lot of the same stuff so it never hurts to look but that's a, a reason too why I push the matching ones a lot is because you know you're gonna find a set I don't want you to like fall in love with one pillow if you end up needing two of it and not being able to find it that's the worst feeling I think that's enough like pillows and throw blankets I want to go head over and check out the rugs a rug is something that we're still contemplating for our living room definitely wanting to get a ruggable rug I think so that we can wash it because with the dogs that would just be super nice and a lot of you guys have told me great things about ruggable but let's check out the rugs and like the accent rugs and see what they have over in the rug section now and I love how they put like the big price stickers so that you know exactly how much it is and they are on these like movable little I don't even know like not wires or poles I guess so it's pretty easy to like sift through them but they do get really heavy I struggle a lot to look at the rugs but let's go through some of them and see what they have this blue one is so pretty this like giant palm leaf pattern also this rug is huge and it's only hundred and twenty nine dollars I feel like that's a steal it is by Tommy Bahama it is I think seven by ten this is beautiful this one is really really pretty really really different as well i feel like i haven't seen a rug like this here before the pattern and the colors are really really pretty of course it's not going to be for everybody but somebody who has these colors in their house or is looking for an accent or a pop of color is going to be really excited to find this the material feels really nice as well this is actually handmade in india it is the brand lol lol lowly low <laughs> wait what is that I'd say low loy and it is $250 this one is really pretty as well it's coming off more of like a cranberry or a red on camera but it's definitely more of like a dark pink like a magenta this one is 300 it is Nicole Miller they have a lot of her stuff here at home goods but again like someone who wants a pop of color and it likes pink will be really excited to find this this would be a really pretty dining room rug if more colorful options are not your jam this is definitely more up my alley this really pretty white shag rug this one is like a lot fluffier so I feel like the first few times you vacuum it like a lot would come out and it would 
potentially flatten over time but i really like the subtle pattern on it just with the light gray color i really really like this one and this one is 200. this damask print one is also very very pretty more of a dark gray with white definitely a lot busier but it's really pretty so i wanted to show it to you this one is 300. here they kind of have three similar ones lined up together these are a little bit smaller so these ones are 80 and then the one in the middle is 60. so they definitely have all different sizes and colors you just have to sift through these like big poles but it's good it's an arm workout Ooh, i really 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 like this one i love the texture of it you can still vacuum it you just have to be careful Careful. this one's a bit smaller it is five by seven and it's uh, kind of still expensive for that the other ones that were smaller were like around the $70 range but I really love this one it just is pretty small for the price I feel like it's hard to tell it looks really big close up but I love the texture the material and the color sometimes they have circular rugs so I just dug through all of them because I wanted to show you one but they don't have any today at this home goods but you can find like circular rugs and oval rugs from time to time as well I'm not at like my home home goods that I shop at most um, and they typically have the different like shape rugs but here they don't so sad that I couldn't show you one today but you can find that stuff here I wanted to mention as well they do have all the rolled up rugs as well so these are not like hung up just more options these are typically smaller like area rugs but they also do have like runners and other little like accent rogue size rugs so definitely make sure you're checking over here as well and you can find magnolia brand which is like the chip and joanna Gaines hearth and hand brand in these rolled up rugs a ton so if you care about that this is where you should look for that we are over in the furniture section so i'm just going to show you a couple furniture finds that i think are really nice this is so pretty i love the mix of like the wood with the tile it is like a little bit 3d if you guys can see that which is so so cool just a little like entertainment center type buffet for your dining room you could use it for either this is 500 this is gorgeous this one is really pretty too actually well this gold table is beautiful and very light apparently but this is really pretty I like how simple it is definitely reminds me of something you'd see at the spa but this is $179 this is a pretty accent table it has like gold legs this gold hardware with the two doors it's $2.99, just a fun little like entryway table. This chair is gorgeous. I feel like you don't see a lot of leather furniture. We have seen some more recently, but this is actually a vegan leather chair, which is really, really cool. I also love the stud detailing on it. I just love how masculine it is. It's really, really pretty. And I feel like not something you see too often at HomeGoods, so I definitely wanted to highlight it for you. I saw this chair when I first came in, and honestly, this chair is stunning. It has like the wood that goes all the way around it with this really pretty like ivory linen material. This is $400, this chair is so pretty. I can't believe someone hasn't already bought it. I wanted to just show you a couple of lamp finds. These are huge, they're like these giant like baskets. These are very, very big lamps. Even the lampshades are huge. These are really, really cool. These are $80 and they do have a pair. These are really cool. I like this, very like nautical, but also boho. I'd probably want to switch out the lampshade for a linen because I think it would make the natural part on the bottom pop more, but those are really pretty. What I love here about lamp shopping is that you can actually like plug everything in. They have all the plugs. And I just think that's really helpful. Oh, they actually have the whole lamp in white and I just totally missed it. I walked right by them. These are very pretty, but I don't know. I still feel like I'd like the brown bottom with the white or vice versa. Like I feel like all of both is too much. You have to mix and match them. This is also one of my favorite aisles because they always have fans going. So that is really fun and a nice way to cool off. Little pro tip if you need to cool off, come over to the lamp pile because they'll probably have running fans or you can go ahead and plug one in and just get some air. Or if you just wanna live like you're j-lo or beyonce super bowl moment or like music video moment with your hair blowing <laughs> you could get that too at the home goods i'm in the office section is like pretty weak 
compared to my home home goods that I shop at all the time. Their office section is honestly overwhelming, but they have so much cool stuff. I feel like I get overwhelmed, that's why I don't show that stuff that much. I'm gonna show you a couple cool things I found here, but I definitely want to save showing more of that stuff for when I'm at a different home goods because this one, it's just not really doing it for me. One of my favorite things to look at over in the office section are drawer pulls. I don't know, I just always dream about like DIYing furniture. It's such a labor of love, but it can be so fun and you can find really nice pulls for a good price here. So they have these. I've never seen them have like pull bars like this, but they have like those. Ooh, these are super, super nice and modern. If you can see, they're like matte black. Those are very, very pretty. You get the six of them for $24.99. Those are really pretty. This is another like tricky item where like if you end up wanting to like redo your whole kitchen, you'd need like 40 or 50 and you would have to go to multiple home goods to find them. Cause here they have like two packs of that one, but then the rest are all completely different. So can definitely be another thing to hunt for at home goods, but it would definitely pay off because I feel like they're a really good price. They of course have more fun and like ornate ones like this. And then of course like the glammy crystal ones. So they have all different styles of poles. I find it to be super true that some home goods are better for some things than others. Like my home home goods is great for furniture, office supplies, but not as good for like kitchen stuff. Some home goods get like tons of drawer poles when some other ones like barely get any so you just kind of have to like feel out all the home goods around you and you'll definitely start to figure out what home goods is better for like which category and then you can just shop there for that they do have a bunch of different styles of these like dry erase little like calendars I feel like Brian and I could definitely benefit from something like this where we could each write like what we have going on that day but they have a lot of different styles different like price ranges too they also do have like little cork boards items like that so they have a little like work from home signs desk decor little things over in this section but the section is not my favorite but honestly i just feel like there's not really too much to see in this particular office section at this particular home goods this can be a really good place to shop for like decorative notebooks and stuff though they have really really pretty notebooks they also have like planners so this one starts august 2021 to december 2022 and this one has like stickers so if you need like odd timed planners like mid-year planners that sort of thing definitely look here also these are really cute these like desk organizers if you are going to stay working remote like for a long time this could be a really good place to come and just kind of like refresh your space and get excited about it. I saw these like clearance aprons and they say like people's names like Chef Jessica, Chef Mary, and look what I found, Chef Katie. How cute is that? I never wear an apron when I cook, literally ever, but this is on clearance for $8 and it's just like a pretty linen with a pocket in the front. It's Cupcakes and Cashmere brand, which is really nice. Oh, I feel like it's kind of like I, I need to get it. I mean, that's pretty cute. Alrighty, you guys. Well, that is going to be it for me. I really hope that you enjoyed this week's Home Goods Shop with me. Please let me know down below if you enjoyed the different stuff that I showed this week. Please leave me some feedback down below. It would really mean a lot to me and really help my channel grow, which is exactly what I am trying to do. I haven't shared it on here, um, but as of a week or two ago, I officially separated from the Walt Disney Company. If you didn't know or if you're new here, I worked for Disney for the last like six or seven years. Um, I was laid off because of COVID and my turn to finally be called back to work just came up and I had made the decision over the last several months several months that I actually was going to be denying going back to Disney. Mostly because my YouTube channel, I really see that as my big truck I really see my YouTube channel as an opportunity for my future and it's really important to me I feel like I've built this really awesome foundation all thanks to you guys and I'm just really not prepared to let that fall to the wayside um, I worked in operations at Disney so I was in the parks and you're expected to work all the holidays you work nights and weekends and I just worked really 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 crazy hours pre-pandemic I still work really hard on my YouTube channel don't get me wrong but it's really nice now that I'm able to like 
travel and still work or be able to travel or like take a day off when I need to or when I want to, mental health day. I just have all those freedoms now that I work for myself and I'm just not willing to compromise on the work-life balance that I've built for myself. So I just wanna say first off, thank you all so much for your love and support on this channel. I wouldn't have been able to make that huge life decision if it wasn't for your love and support. So thank you. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will take any feedback that you have as long as it is nice <laughs> down in the comments or nicely worded doesn't have to be like nice feedback but thank you all so much for your love and support if you haven't yet big thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys next time i'm officially a full-time youtuber i love you guys so much see you next time bye